Hi. Recently, a new theme for the iPod Touch and iPhone came out. It's a horizontal Windows 7 theme, and it's one of the most advanced themes that I've seen so far. So, first off, I'm going to tell you how to install this theme, but I'd like to show you what it looks like first. Um, if you're watching this video, you probably already know what it looks like, but I'll just show you again. You've got a customized lock screen here and uh, you can change all this. I'll, sh I'll tell you how to do that. So you can select either user, it doesn't really matter, and unlock it. And here it brings up the start page and you've got a start menu here so click on that and brings that up and a lot of those buttons all work including the text of the side, um, control panel settings, install programs is Cydia, um, music is iTunes, and pictures is pictures. So you can go back, and you've also got this little menu here, which has a games folder, a libraries folder, and iFile, which is a cool app to view all of the files in your iPod. You don't really need it for this theme. Um, well, it, the guy who made the theme says you do, you don't really. So you can open up libraries, and it's got a bunch of the common iPod Touch and iPhone apps. And you can X that out my computer brings up the library as well and you've got um, internet media player and email so I'm gonna tell you guys how to get this theme it may seem very complicated at first but it's really not so the first thing you want to do is go to the download page which you probably know where it is um, if you're trying to download this theme but I'll have a link in the description um, so you select your package iPhone or iPod Touch and it'll download a deb file for you but before you do anything with that file you need to have all of these applications Winterboard which most people have um, Spring Jumps Categories and Quick Lock those are all cool little apps that you can find on Cydia and you're also going to need Erica Utilities so I'll have a list of all that stuff in the description and obviously your iPod or iPhone has to be jailbroken so once you get all those apps and Erica Utilities which isn't mentioned on here you can go into SSH and um, bring that deb file that you got into um, your iPod so you're gonna go into private var and then temp folder which is at the bottom and you're gonna drag that file into the temp folder I've already got it in there so I'm not gonna do it again but it'll show up in there probably at the bottom and that's all you need for the theme really so once it's in there you're just gonna select it and you're gonna go control T and that's gonna bring up this window so you can enter a command so I've already entered the command a few times so it's already programmed in here your command is gonna be um, dpackage i temp windows ipod dot deb and I'll put that text into the description because it's kinda confusing to look at from here and you're just gonna hit execute and that's gonna install the theme for you um, I'm assuming you need to have Wi-Fi connection for this at the moment because um, yeah, it's probably going to use like Winterboard or something. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but yeah, just make sure you're in Wi-Fi. So hit Execute, and that'll do it for you. And as long as you have all of those things, then it should work. So make sure you've got Winterboard, Spring Jumps, Categories, Quick Lock, and Erica Utilities. Um, if an error comes up, it's probably going to be telling you that you have an app on there that isn't compatible with the theme. So what you're going to want to do before installing the theme, this is really just precautionary, uninstall all of the programs or apps that you don't need. So, the, um, uh, what is there? Um, I don't know, there's a couple apps that might give you problems and just, uh, it'll tell you in the error page. So, um, once that's done, your theme is installed, and you're going to go to Winterboard. So once you're in Winterboard, uh, you're going to see the theme. So it's going to say Windows, yeah, just Windows with a Y. And it's already going to be checked for you. So at that point, you're just going to want to respring your iPod, and the theme will set itself up for you. So it's pretty simple. 
and uh, that's all you have to do. So in the end, you'll end up with this. Um, the clock widget is a little bit harder to get. I had to get it off of the older version of the theme, and I can't find the weather widget. Um, and I've made a few modifications to the theme myself. For instance, to edit the lock screen, what you want to do is go into private var stash themes and once you have the theme you'll be able to see this Windows 7 and there's going to be two things you need to edit lock background HTML you go in there you select edit and it'll bring this up and you just have to find where it says Andrew and switch it with your name so Matthew for me Matt didn't work because apparently it was too short and it ended up in a weird place so make sure that your name is I believe five characters or longer so you can edit that and also go into library user wind and you can edit that as well um, so just find your name in the text here find Andrew and then substitute your name in there for it so it's pretty simple and you can edit the theme however you like you know add new icons and whatnot I've done a little bit of that and so the theme is pretty simple to install. Um, I hope this helped everybody out, so if you think it did, subscribe and show your support.